try these questions from one CXC CSEC multiple choice mathematics examination. Remember, calculators are not allowed in this exam. To get the most out of this video, pause it here and resume when you have an answer for each question. Okay, let's go. Question 43. To determine the number of children who took part in the survey, we sum the number of children for each age. There were three children age 4, four children age 5, two children age 6, five children age 7, and one child age 8. Therefore, the total number of children is equal to 3 added to 4 added to 2 added to 5 added to 1. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. 14 plus 1 is equal to 15. The total number of children who took part in the survey is 15. The answer is B. Question 44. In this pie chart, AOC is a straight line. We know that a straight angle is equal to 180 degrees. Or, the angles on a line are supplementary. That is, the angles on a line add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, the share of milk added to the share of chocolate is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, the share of chocolate is equal to 180 degrees minus 120, which is equal to 60 degrees. We are given that 12 students prefer chocolate. Thus, 60 degrees represents 12 students. To find the total number of students, we find for the entire circle. We find for 360 degrees. If 60 degrees represent 12 students, then 1 degree would represent 12 over 60 students. And 360 degrees, everyone would represent 12 over 60 multiplied by 360 students. Cancelling, 16 to 61, 16 to 360, 6. 12 multiplied by 6 is equal to 72. 72 students. The answer is B. Question 45. The probability of an event occurring is equal to the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of possible outcomes. Therefore, the probability of passing the exam is equal to the number of students expected to pass over the total number of students. Total probability is equal to 1. The probability of a favorable outcome added to the probability of the unfavorable outcome is equal to 1. That is, the probability of passing added to the probability of failing will add to 1. It follows that the probability of failing is equal to 1 minus the probability of passing. Which is equal to 1 minus 100 over 120. And of course, 1 can be represented as any number over itself. We use a number over 120 in this instance for simple calculation. 1 is equal to 120 over 120. One twenty minus 100 is equal to 20 over 120. 20 to 21, 20 to 120, 6. The answer is 1 sixth. The answer is A.
I am Mr. Dubé. Post a comment. Let me know how you are managing. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.